Hi all, welcome to Yoga Ball Dressage again. This is Shemaine and I am the owner and trainer at Symphony Dressage Stables here in California. And I want to talk to you today about haunches in and how to train it and how to ride it. And uh, I am a United States Dressage Federation Diamond Award recipient, which means that I have my USDF uh, bronze, silver, and gold medals for uh, excellence from training level through Grand Prix. And I also have my USDF freestyle bars, which means that I've done all of those levels at freestyle as well. And uh, so I have loads of show experience and I'm fully qualified to talk to you about haunches in today. So uh, I also have footage of myself riding one of my young horses and performing haunches in for you. So I will put that on the video as well and talk about it as I'm riding through the movement. And preparing it. So, uh, so right now, what we're going to talk about is sequential aids, and I want to start with when you go into the corner to start your haunches in. You have to have the bend. You have to have flexion in the horse's neck. Okay, and and the way that you do that is by sitting on the inside seat bone. So this line right here on the yoga ball represents the spine of the horse, and uh, I don't know if you, any of you have heard of that book, Two Spines Align. Uh, so our spines should align, okay? So when I sit on my inside seat bone and put weight there, then you can see this spine moves and bends a little bit. And when the horse's spine bends, that's what we're trying to accomplish. That's what we call bend. So, so we need bend through the corner to create that haunches in. But we also need just a little bit more flexion in the horse's neck so that it's looking to the inside so that when we start our hunches in, we don't lose it all, okay? So, so prerequisite, bend. Uh, and bend suggests that you're sitting on your inside seat bone, okay? Now, that's the first part of the sequence is making sure that you have your weight on that inside seat bone. Now, once you do and you have more pressure in your inside stirrup rather than your outside stirrup, so meaning you could lift your outside stirrup away a little bit, then you are ready to do the second step, which is put your inside hip forward to your inside knee. Now, you're showing the horse where to bring those punches. So I've just pushed my hip forward, which allows the horse some space to bring their hip in. Now, the last thing that I do is my outside leg and outside brain together. So, they work together in that my inside hand is here and it's maintaining flexion, wiggling a little bit here and there just to say, hey, woohoo, stay in the flexion. And then my outside leg comes back. Now, when my outside leg comes back, so does my outside hip. If I put my outside elbow on my hip first, then they're going to come back together, okay? So now, I don't know if you could see it, but my ball kind of twisted, and that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish with our horse, is a little bit of a shift in with those haunches. So, now we're going to do it to the right. So, we're going to say first, we're going to go, okay, we have flexion, we have bend through the corner, we're sitting on the inside seat bone, we have more weight on the inside foot than the outside foot. Now. We're going to bring the inside hip forward to the inside knee and that knee is going to slide either into or under your thigh block on your saddle. Now third, we're going to bring this outside elbow on the hip and bring that outside leg back. Now that is what gets the pivot to happen of the haunches coming in and the shoulders staying on the rail. Okay? So now I'm going to do it from behind so you can do it from the back. Before. We're going to start to the left first. So I'm going to check my weight aid. I'm on my inside seat bone and my ball shifted a little bit outward, which means that I have bend in the horse's spine. Now I'm going to bring my inside hip forward to my inside knee. Then I'm going to bring my outside elbow on my hip and bring my outside leg back. And that's going to shift my ball and allow my horse to do that punches in. Now I want this hip to be higher than this hip. So that now I'm telling the horse, move that hip over to the inside. Okay, now we're gonna do it to the right. So right weight aid, more weight on this foot than on my outside foot. And then we're gonna 
Make sure that we bring your inside hip to your inside knee. And then we're going to bring this outside leg back and bring this outside elbow on the hip. And that's going to shift our haunches in to come in. Okay? So that's how you do your sequence of A's. So remember one more time. Inside weight A. Make that ball shift over. Inside hip to inside knee. Outside leg and outside elbow on the hip. Bring that outside leg back and the outside ring slightly open, which also tells the shoulders to stay on the rail. Okay? So it's a little quick shoulder in uh, tutorial for you today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bend in the corner, inside hip down to inside knee, outside leg back with the outside elbow on your hip and shoulder back to bring the hunches in and the outside shoulder stays on the rail. Bend in the corner, inside hip, down to inside knee, outside leg back with the outside elbow on your hip and shoulder back to bring the hunches in and the outside shoulder stays on the rib.